A lightning arrestor works by conducting a high voltage surge to the crown and consists of a spark gap in series with non-linear uh, resistor, right? So here's a spark gap, here's a non-linear resistor. It connect connected in parallel to the device which is um, supposed to protect between the line and the ground. So in parallel and it's connected. So here's the like the line and then here's the ground. And then you have the spark gaps and the non-resistive non-linear resistor. Uh, the length of the gap is set to the nominal line voltage uh, is not enough uh, so the so the gap here is not enough to cause the arc across the gap but a dangerous high voltage will break down the air insulation to form an arc so if there's a huge amount of voltage between these two then it'll break down the the air insulation here and form an arc across it and the the property of the nonlinear resistance is that the resistance decreases as the voltage or current increase and vice versa so um, when the voltage increases, the resistor decreases uh, significantly. And so the lightning or the transient that's produced by lightning will arc across and then it goes to ground uh, directly, right? And so it prevents damage to the equipment itself. Hello everyone, Abdurrahman here from Alumiax Engineering. To learn more and to continue sharpening your technical skills, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, General Pack by Alumiax or visit our website at alumiax.com slash learn.